Okay, so this is a little weird. I'm about to show you a video that I recorded earlier this morning. I'm giving you a little introduction here that kind of twists a little bit. After I finish recording what I'm about to show you, I saw something that looked a little odd to me and I looked closer at it and I realized this print nightmare thing is becoming more of a nightmare. Microsoft issued an emergency patch a couple days ago on Tuesday and yesterday it was actually discovered that did not actually fix the printer vulnerability. So the video I'm about to show you demonstrates how to prevent your exposure to this vulnerability manually by disabling the print spooler. But I want to show you this. One of the articles that I referred to in the video that I'm about to show you from Ars Technica, when you scroll down a little bit, has this paragraph. After the severity of the bug came to light, Microsoft published an out-of-band fix on Tuesday. That was July 6th. Microsoft said the update fully addresses the public vulnerability, but on Wednesday, a little more than 12 hours after the release, a researcher showed how exploits could bypass the patch. So the exploit is still present. So now here I'm going to show you the previously recorded show in progress. And this one is was anticip in anticipation that the fix released on Tuesday, since it was an emergency fix, might cause some crashes or some printing problems. So keep that in mind as you watch the rest of this. I didn't realize that at the time that I recorded what you're about to see. So I will do this. Here it comes. This video is not the online security tips series that I was intending to start this morning. This video is because there might be an emergency issue with printing troubles today. Microsoft released an emergency update on Tuesday this week, which would be the first Tuesday of the month. So it's not the normal update Tuesday, but it is a full cumulative update. <clears throat> And the purpose is to fix a printer vulnerability that was supposedly fixed in the June Update Tuesday. But last week it was discovered that that did not totally fix the problem. And the details of that vulnerability has been released to the world. So the criminal elements out there, hacker types, now know how to take advantage of that vulnerability. <clears throat> so all of my computers received the update yesterday, had that little orange red dot down in the system tray, prompting for a reboot. I didn't. I manually rebooted one of my computers and observed that it went through the full normal cumulative update with the percentage graph uh, going across the screen. My other computers, I just left them on overnight, as is my habit. When I got up this morning, I discovered that they did indeed restart. That wasn't obvious because they automatically restored whatever programs I had open on them. So it wasn't obvious unless you were actually looking for it. So I want to show some information about this because Microsoft doesn't have a good track record in terms of doing emergency printer related <laughs> fixes or patches. Uh, there was a time two, three, four months ago, whatever it was, where it caused a lot of computers to crash, to blue screen crash. So I'm thinking that could happen today and it's going to be today that that was likely to be discovered because the update was released on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Wednesday, I saw, I observed the download come to my computers and my computers rebooted overnight, which would indicate today during the day is when we're going to encounter problems with printing if that indeed happens. So to show some things about this, I'm going to come to my computer number two. There's a, web, uh, a website here, Krebson on Security. I'll put a link in the uh, description below the video for this. I'm not going to go through it, but it has information about the flaw. Here's the actual, let's see, I want to go back here. Oh, here's also Ars Technica. I'm also going to put that one on. This is the flaw called the print nightmare. Then coming back up to this tab shows the Microsoft KB article. It's KB 500 495 and this gives information about it. Then we can come up to here's a, a YouTube video where uh, Shannon Morse is giving a great description of 
Print Nightmare, and she also talks about Kaseya and a couple other things. But at this point in that video, at 717, she goes into a description of what conditions need to be met in order for you to actually be a victim of this vulnerability. It's a fair, fairly narrow margin, but just in case you're really concerned about that, you, there's several details about it. You have to have your print services exposed on the internet and and it has to be a targeted attack, so an actual hacker going after your systems. But there's some nuances in there. It could be more significant uh, than you might anticipate. So then here's the update 4945. So I did a search here in the catalog update.microsoft.com for 500-4945. And right now I'm just showing the X64. But I want to point out this is a full cumulative update. You got the words here, cumulative update. Windows 10 version 2004 and 20H2 and 21H1. So the whole whole range of them, and it's 586 mega, megabytes there about. If we go look at the June cumulative update, you'll see also that's a similar size. So it's, it, it's a full cumulative update. This was last updated July 6, which is two days ago. So it's coming out to computers near you. And then let's come over here to my computer number three. I'll show that in my system event log, we see that my computer automatically restarted at 2.31 a.m. to install this update. If I come up here to the setup log, I can see at 2.34 a.m. this update 500.495 was successfully changed to the install state. So now if you if problems do show up with printing, you can uninstall this update. So let's go to update settings. I'm doing the Windows key and then type update settings if I can type correctly. And this will show when that update was installed and you can trigger a uninstall. So view update history. And then here's that update, 500.495, and up here you can click on Uninstall Updates. That'll take you to the Add Remove Programs window, and you can find the 500.495 here and click Uninstall. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. The Please wait while updates being uninstalled takes several minutes. So if you actually feel that you need the protection against this vulnerability, the next thing that you may want to do is come into services. I'm going to use Windows key R and type services.msc. Yeah, spelling matters. Computers are supposed to be smart enough to know what I meant to type and then go down to print spooler. So I'm going to click on any one of these and then type PR. That'll get me close. There's print spooler. I can right click and choose stop. And then I'm going to right click and change it from automatic to disabled. So this is going to prevent that vulnerability from being taken advantage of on your computer. And you can still print. What happens now is when you go into a program and try to print. Normally, let's say you're printing multiple pages. Your program would print all of, send all that to the print spooler, and then your program is freed up. You can use it while the printer is still running. It hasn't finished yet. Without the print spooler, what's going to happen is you give your command to print, and your program's going to be tied up, communicating with the printer until the printer receives the last page, and then your program's probably going to free up be available to use shortly before the printer finishes, but you can still print. And then when things get solved, you can uh, re-enable the print spooler and the updates. Now then another thing, if you find computers in your office have that orange, red, yellow dot down here in the system tray indicating that the computer needs to be restarted, to install updates. That means that update hasn't been installed yet. And if you want to defer that a little bit, press the Windows key, type update space settings, enter, and then come into advanced options. Come down here to pause until, 
and just pick a date maybe a few days into the future until you can see that things have cleared up and the update is not causing a problem. Then your computer will go ahead and automatically receive the update. If you have that orange red dot down here in the system tray, I find that sometimes that causes the computer to run sluggish or causes some really weird other anomalous symptoms. So if you have any strange symptoms happening with your computer and you have that orange red dot and you either don't want to risk getting that update or you don't want to risk you don't want to take the time that your computer usually takes to install a cumulative update then go ahead and pause updates this way. So that'll be the end of this video. I hope that was useful. I hope it doesn't become a highly popular video because that means that this update did cause prob massive problems and this video was found in search results. So have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.